Hi, this is Dr. J. Mark, J. Mark Chemistry. Today I would like to explain important questions from various competitive type of examinations. These questions are very very important. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel J. Mark Chemistry. First question, the concentration of solution can be expressed as the mass of solute per liter of solution. Ashwin dissolves some solid copper sulfate in water to make 500 ml of solution. This solution had a copper sulfate concentration of 28 grams per liter if 100 ml of the solution were evaporated to dryness what mass of copper sulfate would be recovered so here based on the given information that is 28 grams of copper sulfate is solubility that is present in 100 ml. So here in the solution is asking 100 ml of water contains how many grams of copper sulfate by using crisscross method 28 into 100 divided by 1000 then here you will get a 2.8 grams of copper sulfate is required answer is b Next question. The concentration of solution, same question, description is same, but he is asking 2.1 grams of copper sulfate. So, here how much volume is asking in ml? Why in the given answer, ml means 2.1 grams of copper sulfate is dissolved in. How much ml? Generally, based on the given information, 28 grams of copper sulfate is dissolved in 1000 ml. So, here 2.1 grams of copper sulfate required how much ml? That is 2.1 into 1000 divided by 28 divided by 28 then here you will get a 75 ml 75 ml of water is required so your answer is c is the right answer similarly next question the concentration of another salt solution that is 72 grams indirectly 1000 ml this is given information so here how much water must be added to 250 ml of the solution to change the concentration to 18 grams per liter suppose if 18 grams then how much ml is required then 72 into 1000 divided by 18 then here you will get a 250 ml so how much ml is required indirectly 750 ml is required to 
make up to 1000 ml so here answer is c these questions are from a and c q next question so here the amount of water so here heat needed one formula is given that is mass of water into 4.2 then temperature in degree centigrade so here the amount of heat energy released when 1 gram of butane burns 49,518 joules what mass of butane would need to burn to raise the temperature of 500 ml of water from 200 degree centigrade to oh sorry 20 degree centigrade to 100 degree centigrade so if we'll use this formula that is heat needed that is equals to mass of water 500 grams into 4.2 then temperature it is given from 222 is nothing but 100 minus 20 it is nothing but 80 degree centigrade from this calculation here you will get a heat in joules that is 1,68,000 what the joules of energy is liberated means or released so here how much energy is released so here generally 1 gram of uh, butane that is C4 H10 required 49,518 joules. Then here 1,068,000, 1, 68,000 joules. So here, how many grams is asking what mass, how much mass of C4H10 is required? Then that is nothing but 1 into 1,68,000 divided by 49,518 then that is equals to that is equals to here you will get a 3.39 grams it is nothing but approximately 3.4 your answer is 3.4 is the right answer so like that based on this formula we can use to calculate how many grams now the mass of butane would need it to burn 500 ml of 500 grams of water next question here a sample of gas was analyzed the gas was found to contain here sulfur percentage given then sulfur is equals to 29.9 percent then by mass then fluorine mass is also given that is 78.1 percent by mass the relative atomic mass of an element indicates how heavy its atoms are when compared to the atom of other elements so here the relative atomic mass of an element of sulfur is given that is 32 then similarly fluorine is also given that is 18 19 what is the formula of the gas how you have to do first the given percentage so here sulfur 21.9 divided by the relative atomic mass that is 32 then here you will get a 
0 0.684. Similarly, here 78.1, that is mass of fluorine divided by atomic weight is 19. Then here you will get a 4.11. Among these two, then you have to select the least one. Least one is uh, what you call 6. Point. Among these two, you have to select. Among these two, so here this is the least value, then divided by the least value. Suppose three values are there, from that you have to select the least value. This is the least value, so that is by divided by 2. Then here you will get 1, then here you will get 6. Then automatically, yes, 1 and uh, fluorine are 6. Yes, F, 6. This is the right answer. So, answer is Delhi, that is D. Next question. Hydrogen gas and oxygen gas react to form water. So, here he carried out a, a he uh, reacted different masses of hydrogen and uh, oxygen. Here table is given, first trial, second trial, third trial. In this question is asking third trial, regarding third trial, what mass of water is formed? So here, generally you know one reaction, what is that? Hydrogen react with the oxygen, generally here 2H2O, two moles of water is formed for balancing then you have to put two. So you have to concentrate on third trial. So here mass of hydrogen, so initial as well as final. See here. Then that is nothing but regarding hydrogen 37.5 that is final minus initial. Then here you will get a okay 30.0 only then you will get a 7.5 is the difference between initial and final then what about what about this oxygen third trial so final is zero but initial means final minus initial then you, it is nothing but you will get a, a 60 then here it is nothing but you have to add these two why so total reactants mass of the reactants is nothing but 67.5 grams 67.5 grams similarly here mass of the reactants is equals to mass of the products then automatically you will get so mass of the product that is water is asking mass of water that is 67.5 grams so answer is 67.5 grams so is asking mass of water so it is nothing but according to law of conservation of mass so the mass of the reactants is equals to mass of the products that is 67.5 is the reactants mass then automatically products is also same 67.5 okay answer is c next question same question same information is given first trial second trial third trial but here so given information from this given information so here 10 grams of hydrogen and 64 grams of oxygen so the mass of unreacted gas is dash generally hydrogen react with oxygen to form what water generally based on the chemical reaction so you know to two the four generally four grams of hydrogen react with the 32 grams or 32 grams is required if we'll go for a double it is nothing but 64 grams of oxygen then here required 8 grams but in the given information so here 
10 grams of hydrogen is present but we required only 8 grams it is nothing but 10 minus 8 so 2 grams of hydrogen is extra unreacted then answer is 2 grams of hydrogen is unreacted or extra so here answer is b 4 grams required 32 grams 64 grams it is given in the question required only 8 grams so but here in the reaction 10 grams of hydrogen is given 10 minus 8 then here 2 grams are left means unreacted hydrogen so answer is b the next question here 10 liters of copper chloride solution contains 200 grams of copper ion was electrolyzed the mass of carbon cathode changes from 25.3 to 155.6 grams what is the final concentration of copper ions so here generally 10 liters 10 liters contains 200 initially 10 liters contains 200 grams but here what happened based on the information that is electrode carbon electrode this is nothing but an electrode so the mass of cop electrode increases from 155.6 grams to so here nothing but initially that is 25.3 grams it is increased to what 155.3 so here difference is 130.3 grams this much grams of uh, what do you call uh, copper is deposited at a uh, electrode so it is nothing but total weight is 200 grams so minus 130.3 why it is already deposited if you will eliminate then here you will get a 69.3 grams only present then here based on that here initially you are having how much 200 grams but from the 200 so this is only you are having how much 69.3 so 10 liters 10 liters contains only 69.3 grams but in the question is asking in liters one liter contains how much so how you have to do that is 69.3 divided by it is nothing but 10 into 1 then answer is 6.93 approximately so here answer is a a is the right answer so like this you will get a 69 point means here 10 liters contains 200 grams no problem but here among this it copper uh, copper is deposited on a carbon electrode that is why the weight is increased means this much is deposited how much uh, 130 130.3 grams of copper is deposited means here 200 minus 130 only you are having this much copper which how much 69.3 grams is required means deposited so 10 liters contains naturally 69.3 one liter contains how much so answer is so here a is the right near nearer so that is why we can call it as if it is a 10 liters okay but here is asking in liters so if it is 10 liters okay this is the right answer but it is not 10 liters all are 1 liter only so that is why answer is be careful so that is answer is a so next question next question that is brass is next question brass is an alloy of carbon the copper and zinc so here the amount of copper can vary from 55 percent to 96 percent so here the density of copper is given the density of copper is 
eight point uh, here density of the copper is how much eight point nine six grams then here uh, density of the zinc is also given the density of the zinc is equals to how much seven point one four grams how much seven point one four 7.14 grams so here a sample of brass was analyzed and found to contain 70% copper and 30% zinc mass what would be the density of the brass brass is a mixture of naturally brass is a mixture of what copper as well as zinc so here density of 1 plus density of 2 then you have to take average then here density of water copper is given how much how you will calculate that is density of copper uh, here 11.4 you will get plus 4.7 divided by 2 then you will get a 8.05 this is the answer so how we will get uh, this density answer c how we will get means initially so you have to do like this initially first first density is equals to mass by volume density is equals to mass by volume so here first we'll take copper then copper one so here density of uh, copper it is given 8.96 is equal to mass by volume if you want volume that is equals to mass divided by uh, 8.96 it is nothing but mass is given that is 55 so 55 divided by that is copper mass is 55 divided by 8.96 Nine six. Then here you will get a six point uh, what a six point uh, one three centimeter cube. That is the volume you got. So here similarly, so if you want volume of the zinc, then that is also you have to do same. That is mass divided by volume is given seven point one four. Then here you will get a forty five divided by what a uh, 7.14 then here you will get a 6.30 then here if you want uh, for 70 percent of copper it contains 70 percent of copper means here you take 70 percent of copper means indirectly 70 divided by 6.13 then here it is nothing but uh, what 11.14 11.4 then similarly if it is a zinc then here you take a 30 divided by what a 6.3 then here you will get a what a 4.7 so from this calculation then you take a, this 11 point a, what a 4 then from this calculation you take a 4.7 divided by 2 you will get a what a 8.05 grams per centimeter cube so this is the answer so these questions are from what a ancq an international chemistry quiz conducted by royal australian chemical institute so these are old questions from various years thank you thank you very much please like share and subscribe this is dr jmr jmr chemistry thank you